I made a fake one. When Lord Zed showed up in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Zordon said that Lord Zed has taken over many planets. Is there a chance that Ravcon was a planet that he previously taken over? Is that the reason why Lord Zed is fascinated with going to Ravcon? I mean, I have never really thought about it, but he had to conquer other galaxies, other planets before he hit Earth, correct? That's what even Zordon said. Well, what were those planets and are they finally going to talk about it? Because when you look at Lord Zed's character, he is back for vengeance. He's trying to destroy the Rangers, but he's also at his uh, most dangerous, most evil state from when they brought him back. So was there a chance that it back in the day, maybe Zed was the reason why the Sporix actually even busted out and, and became evil? What if they were supposed to be good and Lord Zed has a plan and he's the first one to kind of make everything horrible for the planet of Ravcon and then he ended up taking over that planet um, what are, are, are the chances and what do you guys think in the comments? Um, there, there's really a, a lot of questions here and I want to shout out Lawson Allen. They asked the original question about Lord Zed and taking over Rafcon and it really got me thinking that he probably popped from planet to planet taking over as many as he could and since this one was already depleted uh he it was easy to take it over and it only makes sense to my theory why lord zed wants to go back to rafcon is something there when he took it over did he build something does he have a a zord there is Ravcon not what the rangers believe it is it's actually like an evil planet now there's a lot of different fan theories that could happen what are your thoughts about Ravcon? we know that it exists but why does lord zed want Ravcon? that that's a huge question uh, I, I love to hear what you guys think in the comments let me know speaking of the comments I want to get into, you know, your thoughts and what you guys are thinking. Let's get into them. So Jeremy said, Zord, uh, Zed of Eltar, <laughs> what is old enough? So it would make sense if he wants to track Ravcon at one point, at least in the comic universe. Huh? So he is from Eltar. Is that true? Zed of Eltar? Did you mean Zordon of Eltar? Uh, hey. That, that just made me think of something. If, if he is from Eltar, is he related to Zordon? Were they buddies? Like, what, what's going on there? Maybe that's something that the, co the comic should or did cover already. Let me know in the comments. It sounds kind of fun, right? What if they were friends or something? Hey, there you go. There's a good storyline. Uh, Stuart said, in Zato's memory, Ravcon was planning to unleash the Sporks upon the forces of evil. Zed might have been one of those dark forces. Oh, man. That's true, because Zed's been around forever conquering planets. We just don't know how old he is, but, I mean, he doesn't look human, so maybe he, he could live forever if you don't destroy him, right? Um... Living Water Ministry says, yes, I do think Lord Zed was involved in the war against Rafcon in one way or another. You know what? It could happen and it makes sense. And now that he knows what Rafcon is, like it's our theories are almost coming to life, if you will. Uh, it's it's pretty cool, though. Sasha said, I just got the information. Some kind of serpent will be involved in Lord Zed's return. Don't know where or how, but Scrozzle will make it happen. Uh, okay, he will show Zed the way what Morphex is all about and the way to use it. Interesting. A Serpentera powered by Morphex, and they could probably get a hold of some Sporix too. Man, now that would be an energy source right there. Um, what do you guys think? 
Let me know. Fat says, I love Power Rangers Dino Fury. Me too, bro. For real. Um, Go Animate Network says, no, it was Void Knight who did it. Then Zed showed up too late and it was already destroyed. Okay. Colin says, he's probably been there. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I don't think that... Ravcon is fully destroyed. I think that the that that maybe things could have been built back a little bit. Uh, I mean, if the planet's still there, if, if they didn't fully destroy the planet, just maybe, maybe there's a chance that life could live. I'm not for sure. Maybe there is a small part of the world that w was not affected or was saved or something. And there was still maybe a couple thousand people that were able to live. I, I, I don't know. You know, um, it's really just a question I have here. But let me know what you guys think in your mind. I love talking to you guys about these uh, fan theories. And let me know, how in the heck does Zed know about Ravcon? Did he previously conquer Ravcon once the Sporex destroyed it? Did he have anything to do with the Sporex becoming evil? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching the fan club. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this content. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Peace. Shout out to our Gold Ranger member, Jeremy. Sign up to be a member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace.